The following video is rated L for Lispy. Hey, so what's up, Scrub and Scrubbits? It's your boy Jack Fags here. And I thought I would never say something like this, but if there is one thing that I hope that Battlefield 1 borrows from Call of Duty Ghosts, and no, not the goddamn fish AI, and that would be dual render scopes. Now, the reason why I bring this up is not only do I hope that this comes to Battlefield 1 uh, and just Battlefield in general, because I've been hoping for this for a while, there might actually be a chance that it could come to the game. Uh, evidently, some tester, I think by the name of Nova or someone, someone that actually has played the game and seen a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, says that there is going to be this kind of dual render technology in the game. Now, there is a difference between dual render and just having it to where the scope doesn't produce that kind of black silhouette around the circle scope area. Um, and either way would be really cool because if you don't know what that is uh, for dual render scopes, basically when Call of Duty Ghost was coming out, they were advertising this a, a lot. It's not currently in Black Ops 3, at least not the way that it is in Call of Duty Ghost. But basically what happens is when you zoom into one of the scopes, instead of becoming engulfed in uh, the whole screen, you're becoming a black silhouette that's zoomed in, uh, in Call of Duty Ghost at least, it would zoom in only the area that's, that's in within the scope. Uh, I cannot talk today. But then the other areas around the scope would not take the zoom and they would be blurred slightly. So what it would do is it would create this really cool looking effect and it would also allow you to see kind of what's around you. It would be blurred but you could still kind of see what's around you even while you're zoomed in. And this would prevent a lot of what happens with scopes and that is tunnel vision where you're so focused on what's zoomed in that you don't even know what's going on around you and you end up getting snuck up upon or someone's just barely out of your peripheral vision you get wrecked. So uh, I really hope to see this in Battlefield 1 and I'm really hoping that this guy is true with saying that it's going to be in the game. Even if, if the area around the scope is still zoomed in like it currently is in Black Ops 3. I would still be happy with that because at least still you get a little bit more sense of what's around you. You're not so tunnel vision when you go into a scope. Now in the past, DICE has said that they wanted to employ this into, I don't know if it was Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4, but they said they wanted to put this into Battlefield games, but that they couldn't get it to work. Now I call bullshit because Frostbite seems like a really really just diverse and really robust game engine and I, I'm sure that they can get it to work because I do understand when you call it a dual render scope the reason why it's called that is because it essentially does have to render the environment twice once for the zoomed in area and then again for the area that's not zoomed so it can be very demanding on hardware but I, I have faith in these guys this would be a really cool feature to see come to the game and if a little game like Call of Duty Ghosts can do it with all their dogs and Riley, then why can't one of the best AAA first person shooters also do it? Now, now you can post your comments down below. What do you think? Would you love to see dual render scopes come into the next battlefield? Post all your comments and thoughts down below. Also, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not a scrub, and until next time guys, I gotta go uh, make fish run away from me. Gotta nerf them damn fish, Infinity Ward. They're OP as fuck.